This is not my first time writing a play, but this is the first time my play has been produced. Well, my dad's a real estate agent, so I said, hey, that's a cool job. And then, originally the monkey was gonna be an elephant, and it was just gonna be an interview, but that sounds sort of boring. I created my play by, like, basically creating a story for my English class last year. And then this year, my teacher asked if we wanted to create a play, so he got the idea of turning my story into a play. Uh, my friend, she made up a game, and um, I kind of based it off that. Well, I love Greek mythology, and my play is very funny, and I, um, I love joking around and doing funny things. So that's really where I got my inspiration from. I got my idea for intermission because there's a specific, uh, there's a specific way that the Shaker Heights High School does their sort of 10 minute play festival. And I was thinking what is the most meta, or what's the most meta theatrical play that you could produce for a black box um, coupled with a bunch of other plays. So I think that one, it, intermission is sort of a, it's like a breath of fresh air in that it, it knows that it is what it is. Well, my whole family travel at least one time per year on airplanes, and my mom is deathly afraid of airplanes, so I kind of got the idea of her being afraid of airplanes and built the whole play around that. I had so many people read my play, and I wasn't satisfied with the feedback I was getting. I, they would read it and be like, oh, it's perfect, don't change anything. Oh no, that means something has to change. It's not good enough if you're satisfied. Finally, I had someone read it, and she's like, well, I think you should expand on the relationship between Leah and her mother. Like, if she's treating her, the, if the father's treating Leah this way, then how is the mother being treated? And then I expanded on that, and I thought that really changed the story for the better. Well, I've, I've read a lot of plays, and some of my favorite plays um, have lots of um, absurdity and and I, I like the idea of that, so I just started with that and then just kind of kept writing. Yeah, so this play is a kind of a response to my personal hurt and upset, and I think not just my own, but most of the country's uh, upset with the Trump administration and with um, how he has handled uh, relations with not only um, the people within our own country and the minorities within our own country, but those coming into our country. I got this idea because I had a uh, senior project about sexual assault on college campuses and I thought it was a great idea to write a play to get my point across and I was thinking since I'm going to college next year that it would be a good idea so that I know and I can show other people what really happens. My favorite thing about the play is actually the main character Lexi. She's just a very strong, independent woman who just stands up for, for herself even though she's been through so much. I think the cool thing about it for me is that if you remove the situation of, and the um, political atmosphere that we're in right now, um, you still have a story of a child that is lost. My favorite thing about the play is the relationship between Leah and Vincent. I like how close they are. Like, I like the, that Vincent has no fear in protecting her whatsoever because he cares so much. The favorite thing in my play would probably have to be all the humor in it. My favorite part of the play was when the knight travels this huge distance just to get a little pillow. I think I enjoyed watching the reactions of my characters and like um, kind of just telling a story of how how I would feel in that kind of experience and um, kind of something that I would maybe do because some of the characters are based on me. I would say if you've never written a play before, try writing something that you've experienced so that you have more details to go off of. I would say just write about something that you that you personally relate to. Find something that you already know about to kind of base your play off of. Start by getting a little idea and start making it bigger. I guess just start with a concept or an idea or or something that you find interesting and try to keep going from there. Advice that I would give to other people 
who have never written a play is just get a topic, branch off of that topic, connect all of the ideas to make a story, and then you just add dialogue to the story to make it into a play. If you write about something that you really care about, that inspires you, that can help you get going. There's a playwriting class at my school. Uh, I took it with Miss Christine McBurney, and uh, this was my first, well, this is actually my second full-length play. Uh, well, not full-length, my short play. Um, the first I wrote was pretty bad. Um, well, your play's gonna kinda suck at first. Well, you just need to keep writing and revising, and yeah, that's sort of it. Right, like just put put the pen to paper. I think that that's like that's the one thing that really held me back was I was like, I would just kind of be reluctant. I would really judge myself when I was writing, so I'd like write a line and be like, no, no, no. But like honestly, what I should, I, you just need to keep going and keep going. And I think that um, the best stuff comes out of you just your worst work will create your best work, and I think that that's what's uh, really gotten me through. The advice I'd give to someone who's never written a play would probably be to incorporate their own personality, humor, and touch to it to make it most like their own style. For someone who hasn't shown anyone, I would tell them to show people, show teachers, especially if you have a theater teacher, because they can give you great feedback, like mine does all the time. If I could be one animal for a whole day, it'd be an otter, because they are so cute. <laughs> Okay, I remember when I was little, I was watching like some like PBS show or something, and the sloth like moved across the street screen, but it was so slow that you couldn't tell that it was moving. And the next thing you know, it was over here, and it was just like so. Like I want to have that slyness, but at the same time, just like bring it cool, like be, be cool. A turtle, and I would be turtles um, so that people wouldn't ask me to do things because I was like really slow. If I could be any animal for one day, I'd be a cat because I really like cats. Bats, because they are very creepy. <laughs> if I could be an animal for one day, it would be a dog because I have a dog at home who sleeps at least 23 and a half hours a day, so I can just relax and eat my homework. Probably a wolf because they're just really strong and they're always in the pack and you know working together. And I actually like that because I'm like that with my friends and family. I would like to be a parrot because they're colorful and they can soar around as much as they want. I guess I would like to be a bird because I think it would be I think it would be cool to be able to fly. I would be a tiger because they're fierce, they're adorable, and like who doesn't love tigers? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely.